first question for you today. Uh, Dean retiring. Uh, what was the reaction with you guys when he told you guys? Uh, it was it was exciting for me. I'm excited for him just to make that next stage in his life and just be able to spend time with his family. Coaching isn't easy. It's hard on your family. It's hard on yourself. So I'm excited for him to go ahead and spend some time with his family. I know he said he was kind of up in the air with it. Did you, were you guys expecting it? Was it kind of was it a shock or anything or anything like that? Uh, I don't think I wouldn't say we were expecting it, but it didn't. It wasn't a surprise. I mean, he, to to be around the game that long and to have the impact he's had and been around the group of guys he's had been around. Um, it's a it's an honor to be able to say that I played for him and just to send him out on the right note is good. Is, is there anything you guys are as a defensive unit are, are looking for in your next defensive coordinator, like something in particular that stands out? Uh, not necessarily. We just want to keep building, keep building off what we set this year in the foundation. And I mean, whatever happens, happens. But we know the group of guys that we had this year, and it shouldn't change much. Gotcha. And my last question, talking about that foundation. Yesterday, Art was talking about how this year's seven and ten felt a lot different than last year's seven and ten. That you guys have that foundation now, going into an off season, you guys have more of an identity. Can you speak to that? Like, can you can you feel that? I know you weren't a part of last year's team, but can you feel it a little bit more this off season? Yeah, I said the way we worked all year. Um, nobody blinked, and no matter what game, what situation, we always knew we had a chance. And when the clock hit triple zeros. We could walk off the field knowing that we did what we had to do to give ourselves the best shot. So I think that's a great foundation to have, and to build from that is great. What's what's this day like for a football player when you're just cleaning out the locker and yeah. around your teammates and everything, knowing that there's not practice tomorrow or whatever? Yeah, I say the last day of school. Yeah, everybody's <laughs> everybody's been everybody's been there. Um, last time seeing your friends, seeing being around the people you've been with all year, and it's emotional. But I mean, we're all happy, man. We're we're just excited that we made it through the season and did what we had to do. And now it's time to get some rest. <laughs> Going back to Coach Pease, um, is there one takeaway that like you're gonna walk away with? Kind of something you learned from him that really stands out? Um, just that, just the his status. He was legendary, man. Um, he's coached. Guys like Ray Lewis, guys like Terrell Suggs, like, I mean, been a part of defenses that won Super Bowls. So just to be around him and just soaking up everything he says, man, it's it's been great um, from his play calling to just his style to, to everything, man. I, I love it and I appreciate it. And you have to sum up this season in one word. What, what would it be? Um, I say it was work. Um, we, we worked hard. <laughs> no matter what situation, we all came in with a like mindset that we're going to go to work. And it didn't matter what's going on on the outside. When it comes to us, it's, 11, it's one of 11, and we're all going for it. Games that were decided by seven points or less, and we lost eight of them. You know I mean, I played in a season like that, and then the following year, we had the same, and we won eight of them. So it's just a, a coin flip. Sometimes you be on the right side of it, sometimes you don't. Thank you, Casey. No problem. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Casey, I'm sure you mentioned it earlier. I apologize, but uh, what was your reaction to hearing uh, Dean's retirement news? Man, obviously, uh, congrats to Dean. He's been doing this 50 plus years. So, anytime you can get that, you know, longevity, you're doing something right. Uh, but he's, he's, like I said earlier, he's coached some some of the best defenses ever. Won a Super Bowl. Um, Coach some of the best defensive players ever, and he's done a great job since he's been here. So, man, I want to give him his flowers while he can. And um, like you said, man, I'm happy for him. Now you yourself, you're a veteran in this league. He's been in the league for, for so long. Was there something that that you you learned from him that was like, whoa, like I, I wouldn't have thought of that, you know, even though I am a veteran in this league? Man, just the the way you treat people. That's the, that's what it's about. The way you treat people, it take you a long way. Uh, you know, you might not have the best year one year. You might have the best year one year, but the way you treat people, you know, that, that gives you longevity. Do you have any uh, final messages to the fans this season? Man, I feel, like, I feel like we, you know, obviously we won the last game against Tampa. Uh, but at the end of the day, I feel like we got the right pieces, and I'm pretty sure they're going to add some pieces on offense and defense and special teams. But I feel like, you know, these guys should be excited for kind of things going through your head on a day like today? It's like locker clean-out day. Obviously, it's kind of a different mood, you know, than being in the normal flow of the season. 
Oh, man, this is my 11th time doing this, so uh, it's kind of normal. If you don't win the whole thing, you're going to feel like this no matter what. There's only one team going to feel really good about doing these things, and that's going to be the Super Bowl winner. So uh, everybody's going to feel like this besides one team, so that's what it is. Expectations from, I guess, more of the national perspective uh, had the Falcons being, you know, one of the worst, if not the worst team in the NFL coming into this season. I'm sure you guys felt differently, but is there anything you, you know, you, you guys as a team sort of have a message to, to those pundits out there that were like, you know, they didn't expect much out of you guys and you guys were in the playoff hunt up until two weeks ago? Man. And nobody really cares what, you know, these people <laughs> rank. Uh, I think Vegas had us like at four and a half wins or something like that. So I hope somebody bet on us, put a lot of money on us <laughs> to get those wins. <laughs> I think we, we have more than that. So that's what it's about. It, you know, it don't really matter what the outsiders say. And, and yesterday, Arthur was talking about how this year's 7-10 and 10 feels a lot different than last year's 7-10. and 10. I know you weren't a part of that team, but could you sort of see that perspective, you know, from when you signed to – to, to now, now cleaning out the lockers? Not really, because I, I went here last year, so it's hard for me to think about it. Well, um, I know your season kind of got, uh, with the injury, it was a little different, but um, if you had to sum up the season one word, what would it be? Uh, joy, I'm happy to be here. Uh, I'm from Georgia, so it's my home team. Uh, so that's kind of a joy for me. Got to play at my home team. All my family still get to come and watch me play. End of the season, what's your message at the end of the season? I uh, just feel like it's been a long season, a lot of up and down, and uh, the, positive, the positive that comes with it is just having the ability to get better throughout the season. I feel like where I'm at now is definitely not where I was in the beginning of the season, and leading up to the up season, you can only get better from it. What sort of growth do you expect from the Falcons going into next year? Uh, I think we're definitely going to be way better next year, if you think about it. Uh, it was a lot of young guys playing out there, getting experience. And, I mean, we can only go up from them. This time around next next year, uh, the goal is definitely to be preparing for the playoff. Being a rookie and learning from a guy like Dean Cruz, what was that experience like for you uh, to get that in just one year? Yeah, I think it was just, it was very important for my growth as a player. You know, just soaking up all the knowledge I possibly could. Uh, leaving college, a lot of things that we didn't do in terms of uh, being in coverage or understanding the, the game over as a whole. I think just getting that knowledge and that experience is just going to help me moving forward as a player. Is there one thing in particular that maybe he he showed you that uh, you'll remember most from him, like as far as his, his coaching? I, I say I, I say the way he breaks up uh, the game plan and understanding the keys that we have to look for uh, in, in the opponent that we're playing. I think just going through that it just helps you play faster overall. Now, yesterday, Arthur talked a lot about the foundation you guys have set uh, going into next offseason. Do you do you sort of feel that? Is it more of a vibe, or do you, is it? I know there's the thing about you know carrying momentum into an offseason. Do, do you think there's something to that? Yeah, I think it comes down to the culture that we build. Uh, if you look at most of the games this year, it was very close. It's just a matter of uh, following those footsteps going into next year and makes it when we are in those close games, we better uh, to finish those games, actually win those games. So it comes down to the culture, and I think leading up to next year, uh, we're, we're going to be a much better team. How would you sum up this season for Falcons fans, for you guys as a team? Um, I say, despite the record and, and things that shows, there's a lot of positive that comes out of it, and uh, we can only go only go up from there. And uh, what do you all, uh, you know, what do you have to do, or what are you going to do in the off season uh, to work on the pass rush moves and so forth? Um, my goal is to be a complete player as possible. It's just work on different things. I don't just want to be known as a pass rusher, uh, and I want to be a uh, all three down player. So that's some of the things I got to work on to be a complete player as I possibly can. Going throughout the season, what are some areas you felt like you grew going? I say understanding the game as a whole. And not first, everything was kind of going fast, and later in the season, just understanding how to beat tackle different ways, and understanding the offensive scheme as a whole, and just being able to process things faster than I did early on. Talk a little bit about today, uh, the emotions in the locker room in terms of you know kind of saying goodbye in the season. Uh, I mean, these are some of the guys that I've been with the whole season. It's been a long season, I mean, eight, talk about 18 weeks, the people that you've been with uh, day in and day out. I mean, it's emotional, but at the same time, those are the people I'm, we still going to stay in contact and be in touch with everybody. Now that you could have a chance to take a step back and kind of look at it, how do you evaluate it? How do you think it? Um, 
I say year one was definitely a lot of ups and downs, it kind of. And I mean, there's a lot of positive that comes out of it, and just trying to build from it. And what's the biggest thing you've learned this year? How to be a pro. I say so. How to be a pro, just learning from guys like Grady and the rest of them.